Hey guys, it's Milma here with another Xcode graphics tutorial. In this tutorial, I'll be teaching how to set the background image of a UI navigation bar. Now, before I go into this tutorial, I will let you guys know that this does work for the new iOS 5 release, or the old one, depending on when you're watching this video, um, because they changed some of the methods and stuff. So I have got a, a thing in there that will allow it to work both for iOS 4 and for iOS 5. Alright, so now we've got that, we can now go into the tutorial. Um, so here are the two images here. The first one is just a normal image and the other one's the retina image. And again guys, it doesn't matter what you call these images. Um, in this case, Jan Martin, which is the guy who's made these tutorial, uh, made these graphics, and you can find his channel there. He's made all the graphics for these tutorials. Um, and also on his channel, he has put out a video telling you how to uh, make all the graphics as well. So if you want to get the graphics, go check out his tutorial, his channel, and uh, learn how to make them. So again, getting back to this, the first one is called navigationbar.png, doesn't matter what it's called, and the next one, the retina image, is navigationbar at 2x. Now it has to be named the same, but with an at 2x on the end. Alright, so this bar here, navigation bar's sizes are 320 pixels, by 44 pixels. Uh, just like the UI table view cell, they're 44 pixels high and you cannot change that. You, it must be 44 pixels high. And with the retina image, it's 640 by 88, exactly double the size. Um, so they're your two sizes there. So let's open up our project and we'll drag them in. So close that down and I'll just select them here, drag them into my supporting files. I'm going to copy them because it's always good to copy them in because if these off my desktop get deleted, I still have a copy of them in my projects folder. So make sure you copy them in. Um, and all right, here we go. So where we're going to be implementing this is where we first load our, our navigation bar. And the, where we first load our navigation bar is in the app delegate because that's where we first load it. Um, so in here, we're going to do something what's called extending a class. And unfortunately, guys, this will only work for uh, iOS 4 or below. Um, but as I said, I will be teaching you how to make it work for iOS 5 as well. So first, we're going to extend the navigation bar class, and we're going to change its uh, draw rect method to draw in an image as it loads. So as it loads, we'll tell it, right, you're about to load, I want you to draw in this image, I want you to put this image here. So I'm going to type that out here, and I'll be back in a minute. Okay guys, I'm back, and as you can see here, I've added a whole new implementation at the top here. Now just like the implementation for our delegate down here, where we put implementation, test table view, app delegate, uh, and then we put all our methods, this is basically doing the same, but instead for a UI navigation bar. However, we need to put in brackets here whatever you want. It doesn't matter what you put in here. Normally, they're called categories when you're changing a certain method. It's normally called a category, so that's why I put that there. But you can just put, uh, I don't know, background image if you wanted there, or whatever you want. I know I spelled that completely wrong, but um, yeah, so it doesn't matter what you put in there, but it must be there. And then in this method, I well in this implementation of the navigation bar, I change its draw, draw rect method, as I said, to make sure it puts the navigation bar image into the background of the uh, the app. So as you can see here, I've just gone navigation uh, image. Uh, well, I've just made an image called nav bg image for background, um, and told it to equal the image in art that we just dragged in. Then I say navbar image, draw in rect, and then I give it the coordinates. It's going to be 0 and 0, because that's the very top of the screen, just like where a navigation bar is. And then it's this, the size of the image um, is going to be the same size as the navigation bar itself. So that's why we put self, because self is going to be the navigation bar. Then we close the brackets, and then we end. Don't worry about auto-releasing or anything, because that will also be done for us. So, yeah. So if we build and run now, you'll see that on our uh, thing here, on our simulator, we will have a nice navigation bar image at the top. Um, as you can see here, like that, and that's the one that's been designed. And if we push a view, you can see it stays there as well. So 
The title will change, but the, the background image will stay, which I think is pretty nice, because we put it in the view did load of the draw rect. Um, but as you'll see in a minute, if I just change the simulator to iPhone 5 and run again, you'll see we get a different story. Um, well, in fact, you'll see that nothing will happen and this draw rect doesn't work. Uh, you'll see. As you can see, the draw rect doesn't work. So to fix that, uh, we're going to have to tell the application to do something different if they've got iOS 5. So to check if they've got iOS 5, we're going to be using the UI device current device system version string. Um, and we're going to put that in the did finish launching method. So I'll uh, come back in a minute once I've put that in there. Okay guys, I'm back. And as you can see here, put in a giant if statement here. And let me break this down for you. So basically, in the first bit here, we say UI device current device. That gets the current device that's using the application. Then we look for the string system version. Now this will return a string of the actual system or the iOS software they've got on their thing. So for example, um, if I was running 4.3.2, it would give me the string 4.3.2. Um, however, we then say we want the integer value of this. And the reason we want the integer value is so that we can uh, um, allow it to have uh, things for greater than a 5.0. Because if we just say if it's equal to 5.0 without putting the integer value, then if someone upgrades to 5.1, then this won't be valid anymore. So we say int value if it's greater than or equal to 5.0. So therefore, if they upgrade to 5.1, it will still work because 5.1 is greater than 5.0. So that's why I've done that. And then we use this new method here called set background image for bar metrics. Um, and that's a new method that's been added in iOS 5. So we get our navigation controller here, we get its navigation bar, then we set its background image to our image, and for bar, bar metrics, UI bar metrics default, and you're probably going to set default pretty much all the time unless your application is permanently in landscape mode. Therefore, you'd set it to UI bar metrics landscape mode. Um, so, yeah, now if you build and run, you'll see that we now have a background image in iOS 5 as well. So as you can see, we now have a background image. So we have a background image if it's on iOS 4, and we also have a background image if it's in iOS 5. As you can see here, if I stop, change my simulator back, it will still work because this method here will only be valid if it's iOS 5. So it will just go back to the implementation we made earlier. So as you can see, iOS 4 and it still works. Um, so there you go guys, that's my quick, well, kind of quick, um, that, that's my lengthy tutorial on how to set a navigation bar's background image in both iOS 4 and iOS 5. Um, so again, thanks for watching. Uh, next tutorial, will be I'll be teaching how to set the back button here, as you can see. The pets button here is not looking nice, it's the still default colour. So I'll be teaching how to set that in my next tutorial, so go check out that there. Um, again, all these graphics were made by Jan Martin, so go check out his channel there. Uh, don't forget to follow me on Twitter at Failcake Apps, where I'll be posting all the latest stuff on what's going on with my videos and stuff like that. Uh, don't forget to click on some of the adverts in my videos, because those also help. And again, thanks for watching. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe, and see you in my next tutorial.